Valentine's Day dinner that you might have had last week? The answer actually lies in the eyes. Now, back in the 16th century, Italian women, before the days of uh, makeup and uh, exfoliation, they used a different method to make themselves more beautiful. Actually, what they did, they took a plant called deadly nightshade and dropped it in their eye. Now, I know this sounds like quite a bad idea, it sounds quite dangerous, and it is quite dangerous because deadly nightshade contains a chemical called atropine. Atropine is a nerve blocker. What it does is it blocks nerves, and if you eat deadly nightshade, you'll die from it from paralyzation. However, if you drop it into your eyes, it has a very different effect. It's only going to block some of the nerves. So what nerves am I talking about then? Well, I want you to take this opportunity, please, to look into each other's eyes, or to the person next to you, and look right into the center there. That is the pupil. It's a gap where light passes through and it's surrounded by the muscles that contract and expand to allow different amounts in. This is controlled by only two nerves, one of which we can call relaxation type nerves and the other one excitation type nerves. I'm going to let you guys do a bit of the work here now. So what do you think would happen to the pupil would get bigger or smaller if you are excited? Well actually in a few of you are signing me there, yes it will get bigger and you can imagine why when we're cavemen running away from predators we're excited, we need to see more so we get a wider field of view of more light coming in. And this is how deadly nightshade works for these Italian women. It blocks the relaxation nerves. And then if you block relaxation, you get excitation. And therefore, you get a big pupil. You've got a big pupil. So what? Well, back in 1965, a chap called Eckhard Hess did a great experiment. He took two sets of photos, identical, or people apart from the size of their pupils. And he showed that people with larger pupils are found to be more attractive when everything else is equal. And this study is a great study that's been repeated loads and loads of times. And as a result, we now know that if you have large pupils, you will be more attractive because of a reciprocal attraction. I look at you, and you look very beautiful, and you look back at me, and I'm sorry I'm not so handsome, but yeah, it would work better if I can afford plastic surgery. But that's still trying to answer what I'm talking about. How can you guys actually use that principle that I've described in your day-to-day -day lives? Well, I'm used that for being almost every day. Not to make myself more handsome, but actually to drop it in the eyes of my patients, to look into the back of their eyes and um, see what's going on in the back. But please don't break into my laboratory, steal highly toxic chemicals, and shove them in your face. I don't think that's the answer. The answer is probably to use the principle I've described, pupils expanding and contracting in response to light. And if I bring you back to your Valentine's Day dinner last week, soft candlelight dinner, you can see your eyes will have to expand to allow more light in. And that is actually how 16th century women are related to um, 